Alright, so let's get back to crafting projects. This time I'm making chachkani, or nisyurka, or plated male coif, I suppose. I don't really know what it's called in English. It's a simple combination of dished plate and mail. Making something like this is quite simple and easy, especially for a beginner, like uh, particularly in dishing. Here I'm using a dishing stump. It was commonly used throughout Eurasia, from Poland, throughout the Eastern Europe, uh, through very popular in the Caucasus, uh, down to Middle East, even in India, and it's presumed to originate from Egypt, Africa. It combines plate and mail like uh, behta ama, but it was most most commonly used with mail ama. Uh, and uh, it combines the effectiveness and flexibility of male and protective capability of plate because you don't really want to have a male cover in your head because it may stop cutting capacity of the blade but the bludgeoning force will still damage your head. Depending on the style, some are basically pots with male and some are just dishes of plate uh, with male. It uh, gives relatively more protection than just male coif for a beginner like me, especially in the uh, art of dishing, it's a really easy and fun project. Then I'm banging out the rough shape of the dish that I'll be making from this plate, and after this I'll be slowly and meticulously banging with my rounded hammer, bring out the dish shape on my dishing stump. After I'm satisfied or got really tired of dishing and said okay it's good enough to mark where the holes shall be for my mail to go in it's an arduous process but it's much simpler than making a full-on helmet as i've mentioned before it's a quite a fun and easy beginner friendly project and brings more Eastern European and Eastern in general flair to your uh, designs. One of the goals of my channel is to showcase more beginner friendly projects in armor crafting and crafting in general because I, uh, I've seen a tendency in tutorial videos about crafting, especially around high concept crafting like armor and costumes. It's supposed to be beginner friendly and simple to make but you require a lot of complicated tools. Here I'm just a goofy goober who doesn't really have a lot of prior skills and education and I just make stuff that I want and learn through making mistakes and showcase those mistakes and those successes with you and try to learn with you as I go along. I might make a lot of mistakes but I always learn from it and hopefully you will learn from my mistakes as well. After I make a bunch of holes then it's time to put the rings in. Again not a simple process but no armor crafting project is simple. Then I systematically put on more and more rings until I, I can much more easily put on larger pre-made male sheets that I've been making beforehand. One of my pet peeves, especially when I was also a beginner and uh, looked for YouTube tutorials on how to make male, was this process of one by one ring male making, which after a few years of male construction is quite absurd to me. One by one is it's so much time consuming and if you make one mistake it ruins your whole project. If you check out my previous mail making videos you'll see that I prefer making smaller and smaller batches when I have different levels of different shapes of mail that I can combine later on into different patterns and different shapes rather than uh, make it one by one and uh, accidentally misplace a ring or, or forget where I stopped or forget where I started and make a wobbly misshapen male construction. This type of hat protection was really popular in the Caucasus and as I've shown in my previous video on male armor and its history in the Caucasus, 
it survived up to 20th century and we have a lot of examples here. We here call this uh, type of uh, hat protection Chachkani. There are different styles of it uh, all over the Caucasus. Some of them even interestingly cover your face and give you a really interesting look. Here you can see I'm slowly combining more and more male patterns to create a much larger male coif, plated male coif. One of the varieties of this style of crafting, there are different uh, shapes and sizes of these plate dishes. Some can be really large that uh, go over your head. Most of them fit your head perfectly. Some may be smaller. Unfortunately, constantly make this mistake of making something shaped for my bare head. But I would not recommend wearing male coif, male in general or armor in general on bare skin and hair because it one pulls your hair, it might hurt you without even uh, having a helmet on to protect you. The metal bits might actually hurt you over time wearing it because it's heavy, it's uncomfortable. So always have either a beanie or actual under padding for your armor or helmets especially. I would suggest uh, you also check out my previous nail making videos. I showcase different styles uh, of nail making and why I prefer making smaller and smaller batches. Thanks for watching and take care.